Clarice TV talking to Southend United Loney, Matt Rush following the 2 0 defeat here to Dorking Wanderers. Matt, how was that one for you out on the pitch? Yeah, it was it was a tough game. They're a good team, but I think we I think we shaded it. We had chances, they took theirs, we didn't. Um, I don't think we looked out of place, nothing like that, which I mean they're top of the league and flying, so for us it's it's a great incentive to kick on now and, and we want to get in the playoffs. We're not we're not gonna say we, we don't, so um, it was a test today, but I think we'll be confident going into next week that we can beat anyone in the league. Yeah, you had that header as well that sort of was agonising the class that just shaved the outside of the past. It, it would have been a different end to the game, wouldn't it, if that had gone in? Yeah, I was sure it was in. It just took a bit of spin and then hit the inside of the post. But just football, I mean, sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. But I'm confident when I play, I can score goals. So it didn't, didn't work today. But next week or the week after, I'm sure it will. So, um, yeah, it, it was unlucky. 2-0 probably flattered them a little bit. but. It's done now, so we'll look forward to next week. Yeah, and that's your first 90 minutes as well with your, your new teammates here at Chelmsford. How did you find playing with them out on the pitch? Yeah, good. Uh, a good bunch of lads. Obviously, I was on the bench last week and I could tell in the first half that I'd have a lot of chances here. It's good. We defend well, which is important, and we attack and create chances. So I think going on, I'll have a lot of chances in the team. Um, and I've just got to take them, so um, I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, it's a good bunch of lads, definitely. It's your first time playing as, alongside Tom Blackwell as well, who's a, a player that puts himself about a lot and, and creates chances for other players. So hopefully, he'll be someone that can provide goals for you. Yeah, I've been impressed with him last week. He was good. Um, today, he was good. I, I enjoy playing. He's a, a bit of a live wire like I am. Um, we work well together, and like I say, nearly linked up at the end, and he nearly got his goal. But in the coming weeks, he'll definitely he'll definitely turn for us. Yeah, and then talking more broadly, this is the first time that we've, we've spoken to you since you joined the club on loan. How, was, how did that come about and, and what was the thought process behind coming here? Um, oh, I just wasn't playing enough for my liking at South End. I think I spoke to the manager and, and he said, look, there's an opportunity for you to go on loan. Would you like to do it? And, and I want to be playing games. I'm 20 years old, so I don't want to be sitting in the stands or sitting on the bench. Um, and then as soon as I heard out from Chelmsford, from my agent, I mean, I've known about Chelsea, it's obviously a big club and I definitely wanted to come down here and play my football. A few of the boys I know at South End used to play here a couple of years ago and they've only said good things so it was very excited and it's lived up to expectations so far. And in training and in the matches that you've played since since coming here, how have you found the quality and, and the level in the National Leagues have? Yeah, it's, it's a good level. I don't think it's too different to the National League to be honest. Um, I played a short spell last year at, at Tunbridge before Covid hit. Um, so I know what to expect. Um, I like putting myself out there. I'm not scared of anyone. So yeah, it's a good level and I'm hoping I can uh, ex excel in it. So. Thanks, Matt, and unlucky today. Thank you very much.